here to remind you the mess you made when you got elected. Hey, midlifers and uh, hopefully senators and congressmen and Obama and everybody else. I'm the, I'm the 50 year old long term unemployed and I'm still here. Cha cha cha. We're still here. The long term unemployed are still here. I know the job reports. Yeah, I roll says that unemployment numbers are low. It's low, all right. Just because it appears to be low doesn't mean it's telling the whole story. The whole story is that there's millions and millions of us not being counted. If you can't find a job and become employed, you're not counted. If you fell off the unemployment, you're not counted. Not counted. How am I not counted? Do I not count? See, human, human, if I cut myself open, I would bleed because why? Because I'm still here. Why am I not counted? What's become of this country is just, it's, it's absolutely horrible. The American dream is a nightmare. It's just terrible. So for the last year since unemployment, the emergency unemployment fell off the radar and everybody seemed to stop talking about it the past year. But uh, it's still a daily part of my life. Uh, the past year, though, I was working part-time minimum wage at a hotel. I was hired for day shift for desk work, which kind of turned into changing sheets and scrubbing shit off toilets upstairs in the shared bathrooms and checking people in and looking for the trouble and throwing those people out and rolling alcoholics for rent money and part-time bartender. And I was asked to fill a couple of on, on Thursday nights, and I did that temporarily, which turned out to be all the holidays. I worked all the holidays for straight pay. Then in the beginning of the year, after minimum wage, minimum wage went up a whole dollar from 8 to $9 an hour, which really, did it really, did anybody be able to go buy a new car or buy a house or go out and spend money on a new wardrobe because minimum wage went up $1? No. No. Because minimum wage is a bunch of bullshit. And the whole talk is a bunch of bullshit. Uh, the, the congressmen and the senators, don't try to distract me with your, look what we're going to do for you. We're going to raise minimum wage. And this 10-10 bullshit. Because it's not going to really help anything. It's not going to change the minimum wage worker's lifestyle. It's not going to put that money in their pocket that they all of a sudden can go spend and tweak the economy. It doesn't work that way. It raises payroll, raises payroll taxes. So employees start getting skittish and they don't hire an extra or second or third employee and then they start skimming hours off the employees. So I don't want to hear any more talk about minimum wage. Oh, we need to increase minimum wage. No, you need to get back to the fucking job you were hired, which was to create new jobs. Bring manufacturing back to this country. Where's the jobs? Where's the good paying jobs that a family can live on? Where are those jobs? Your minimum wage distraction is not making me forget that there's no new jobs. Anyway, so I'm working at the hotel. She erroneously fired a bartender who had three night shifts. What I personally don't agree. What happened to that girl is terrible what she did to that girl. But now all of a sudden she wants me to pick up night bar shifts, which I had told her back in February I can't do nights, full nights on the bar. It was more, I would actually get more money in my paycheck if I was scrubbing shit off toilets for minimum wage than working on the bar. Because now if you work on the bar on a, a very slow night and you make $3 in tips, somehow that $3 in tips going in my paycheck mean $100 and more was coming out of my $300 paycheck. So when most of my hours was scrubbing shit off toilets and washing floors, which I had no problem doing for minimum wage, it, it became less than minimum wage by the time I got my paycheck home. So it, it just wasn't feasible. And now, because she fired that other girl and I wouldn't work a night shift, now she's calling me unreliable. Unreliable? Wait, what? And somebody had put me in touch with a lady who cleans boats. And I was trying to get to the lady who cleans boats and see if I could clean boats with her on Monday. Still had my Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday shifts at the hotel have two jobs and then try to get a third job on the weekend. My boss at the hotel took it wrong. And as I was quitting and going to work for that lady. Now, what happened? The lady, oh, you can't work all week? I need, 
I'm busy. This is my busy time of year. Well, I got two other people I'm going to start, and then I'll get back to you in a couple of weeks. Okay. And then the other one at the hotel. Oh, well, you quit. You, th you quit. No, I didn't quit. I never said I wouldn't work those shifts. All I'm trying to do is get you to say, yes, your shifts are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. From now on, these are your shifts. So I can work in other jobs around. But it's like today, these employees, they want to pay you minimum wage. They want to skim your hours. They want to nickel and dime you to death. They want to give you nothing. No holiday pay, no vacations, no nothing. Because you're a part-time employee. They get away with it. And then they want you to be available 24-7 for them. Can't work that way. I'll work for you for minimum wage and I'll do whatever you want me to do. But I need to have a set schedule so I can get two and three more minimum wage jobs to work around it. And I can't call up one boss one day and say, oh, no, she wants me to work there. And No, come on now. Make it easy. I'm willing to work hard for you. I move furniture and everything else. I'm willing to work hard for you, but you, it needs to be a two-way street. It's like everybody wants you to give them, their, be loyal to them, but nobody wants to extend loyalty back. What happened to humanity? What happened to treat people with dignity? Remember the old days when employers gave a shit about the well-being of their employees? That they would offer them... Bonus incentives, paid medical so they could take care of their health, paid days off so they could have a holiday dinner with their families. Employees used to give a shit. They don't. Employees don't give a shit about you anymore. They don't care. Because if you don't want to get down your hands and knees and scrub that floor for, for less than minimum wage, they'll find somebody else at will. It's fucking crazy. It's just, it's just terrible. Meanwhile... All right, how loyal can I be for two hundred dollars? That two hundred dollars doesn't it barely it doesn't pay my mortgage. Never mind the gas, the electric, my car repairs, my car insurance, taxes, taxes, more taxes. Because this is the state of Rhode Island, where every couple of years they send you a tax notice and say, "Oops, oh yeah, we redid your taxes from five years ago. Decided you owe us two hundred dollars more, and because it's four years later and we didn't tell you, now we want six hundred dollars. And if you don't pay us the six hundred dollars, the DMV becomes a blackmail." It means you can't go get your registration or your license renewed. And then now you can't drive to get a job to make the money to pay the tax bill. That's my, when my, pot, my spiral into poverty started was in 2008. The first time I got one of those notices for 2004 taxes. I haven't climbed out of the hole ever since. Then you get unemployed and then you start making less and less and less of an income. You get in the hole you can't get out. Poverty fucking sucks. Poverty killed my dog. I had to put my dog down five weeks ago. <sighs> Don't make me cry. Wally was a great dog, but a year and a half ago, we got a bowel of Lyme disease, and then that triggered immune diseases and other stuff, and my dog started rotting away. And I couldn't take him back and forth to the vet because I don't have the income. I didn't have the money. Uh, my every day is trying to tally up the dollars to the next mortgage payment. I have money to spend on my dog. I got broken teeth in my mouth and my mouth's rotten away because I can't get to the dentist either. Poverty's not easy. Poverty is not easy. It's constant, constant, constantly decisions. Well, you can't just get in your van and go for a ride because that's gas you gotta replace. And you have to think about coming home from someplace at two o'clock in the morning from a job because you might get stuck in your van and then what are you gonna do at two o'clock in the morning? Stuck on the side of the road. So it's constant, constant thought and problem solving and issues and making decisions. It's not easy. Look at the bag on the right. It's giving me bags. Whew. But Obama, Boehner, congressmen, senators, Gina Raimondo, the new governor of this broke ass state, you're not paying attention. You're not listening to the people. It's all about your fucking private deals. Enough already. What about us? What about us? What about us, the midlifers, the new tweens, the baby boomers? Yeah, the new tweens. We're in between careers and Social Security. Supposedly, I'm too old to be employed, but I'm too young for Social Security. We're the tweens. We're in between careers and Social Security as well as tampons and diapers. We're in between, but we're forgotten about. And I'm here to remind you, hello, long-term unemployed, still here, still looking for a job every fucking day, Still trying to take any job. Nothing is beneath me paying my mortgage. It's just it's fucking disgusting what the world has turned into. You got kids on college. Kids burning fucking flags. 
people getting all crazy and fighting each other or just by list watching the news when it's all fucking slime bull bullshit oozing out of that TV set, getting people worked up and not paying attention to what's really going on. Just like the minimum wage. You're paying attention about minimum wage, but everybody forgot the fact they haven't created new jobs. You're worried about race riots and what did Congress just do stuff in their pockets while they got us all distracted. Stop being distracted, man. People, wake up and pay attention. Speak of John Boehner, don't forget me. I'm a human being. I'm American. I was born in this country. I worked my whole life. I paid taxes. How the fuck you, who's supposed to work for me, forgot about me? How am I not counted on your job reports? To all of you, senators and congressmen, fuck you guys. What the hell already? I want a job. I want to work. Damn, because so aggravated. To the rest of us going through the bullshit that we know what the, the hard truths of reality are, those of us that are living it, peace and love, brothers and sisters. Uh, may God bless us all soon. Something's got to change. Hang in there.